Around our shallow coasts, we have vibrant underwater forests. These forests are created by kelp, which help keep our seas healthy and full of life. They are not plants, but algae, which need sunlight to grow. We begin our journey on the Isle of Wight, the south coast of the UK. As the sun rises in the east, it lights up the shallow bays. A flatfish, known as a place, is camouflaged in the sand. This species is called sugar kelp. Its unique structure provides a safe home for many different sea creatures, including vulnerable and juvenile species. The sugar kelp provides the ideal home for a snake lox anemone. A tiny stalk jellyfish clings to the kelp as it feeds. A seawater snail called a top shell grazes the kelp. And a filter feeding tunicate siphons the water for food. A juvenile undulate ray seeks cover under the kelp forests. Undulate rays are threatened globally and are a protected species. Without the kelp forests, the sea surrounding the Isle of Wight would not have the rich and varied animal life. Further away from the coast, we find a different kind of kelp. If you look closely, you can also see young kelp growing on the rocks. In the deeper, more turbulent water, the kelp is firmly anchored by their holdfasts. Watch how the kelp sways, yet remains fixed in place during the stormy waters. Following the sun, we now travel from the coast of the Isle of Wight to the clear seas in Devon. The sun's rays burst through the canopy of the swaying kelp and cast stunning shadows onto the sea floor. Because of the increasing frequencies of summer heat waves, our waters become unusually warm for the time of year. This means exotic visitors from distant shores may sometimes pay us a visit. A rare crystal jellyfish has made its way to our Devon kelp forests. They are a warm water species and drift in the current feeding on plankton. Crystal jellyfish are commonly found in the Pacific Ocean around the west coast of America. These rare long distance travelers could be a sign that our UK waters are getting warmer. It emits a beautiful blue light. This is called bioluminescence. As the turbulent water sways, we find the kelp and snake locks and enemies firmly anchored to the rocks. The kelp hole fuss enable algae to thrive in large underwater forests. Above the hole fuss, on the base of the kelp fronds, other animals find shelter on the kelp. Blue ray limpets securely attach themselves as the kelp gets thrashed around in the stormy water. Without the kelp, the tiny limpets would not be able to survive. They are called Blu-ray limpets for a reason. 
Look at their vibrant laser blue stripes. Scars upon the kelp fronds can be clearly seen, created by the limpets as they graze. If you look closely, you can see the Blu-ray limpet searching for a tasty bit of the kelp to eat. Other, much larger grazers search for a kelp meal, including this sea urchin. In some areas, such as the west coast of America, sea urchins have been known to eat entire kelp forests. Strange but beautiful filter feeding fan worms live within the kelp bedrock. Taking shelter from the turbulent water, a spider crab hides behind the rocks and kelp. Within the kelp canopy, small and vulnerable fish called two-spot gobies seek shelter to avoid predation from large fish. By remaining within the kelp fronds, young fish, including this juvenile wrasse, can hide from their predators. A cat shark patrols the kelp, looking for a place to rest. These stunning sharks do not hunt fish, but eat small crabs and worms. A much larger shark pays a visit to the Devon kelp. A female nurse hound seeks refuge within the underwater forests. She is not on the hunt for food, but on an important mission, looking for a safe place away from turbulent waters and a place to avoid predators to safely lay her egg as she is pregnant. This is the egg case of a nurse hound. Kelp is an incredibly important nursery habitat and shelter within the kelp increases the chance of survival of the young shark. The shark's mission is complete. The baby nurse hound will hatch out of the egg case in about a year's time and the kelp forest will provide it with food and shelter. The kelp forest is a sanctuary for cautious young fish. The fish are right to be cautious. Large predators are lurking. The seal waits in quiet ambush. Kelp provides the ideal hiding spot for both fish and seals. Camouflage and hidden by the kelp the seal waits. No luck today, the seal moves on. We conclude our journey along the rugged coastline of Cornwall. With clear shallow seas, rocky shorelines and rough water, this is the perfect habitat for kelp. Above the water, huge waves thrash and pound the rocky coastline. The power of the waves can easily be seen. Below the stormy waters, the holdfast bind the kelp to the rocks. This one belongs to a tangleweed kelp and looks like the roots of a tree. The holdfast of the fur bellows kelp looks very different, but performs the same job, clinging firmly to the rock despite the rough water. Under the canopy of the kelp, you can see why it's called a forest. Between the stipes of the kelp, a large wrasse patrols its patch. In the deeper areas of the kelp forest, other creatures can be found. A lobster comes out of its rock home to investigate. Beautiful cuttlefish instantly changes its color to suit the surroundings. The cuttlefish is a master of disguise. It can match its background perfectly. One second it looks like kelp, the next it looks like sand. 
cuttlefish make these remarkable changes using specialized skin cells. The cells contain colored pigments called chromatophores. Cuttlefish use their chromatophores for camouflage, which helps them blend perfectly into the algae. From the Isle of Wight, through Devon and over to Cornwall and across the UK coast, kelp forests are crucial for our oceans. Kelp provides habitat for many sea creatures. It cleans the sea of pollution and excess nutrients and increases oxygen, benefiting the rich sea life. Healthy kelp forests can even help reduce the impacts from climate change by taking up carbon dioxide from the seawater. However, around the world, including the UK, we are losing our kelp forests. Reports state that if we can at the same rate of loss, the UK will have lost almost all of its kelp forests by the end of the century. We can change this. We can stop the loss and even restore the kelp back to huge and dense forests. This is a story of hope, detailing how the stunning variety of animals can survive within harsh environments, because without kelp and the sun to feed it, our oceans would not be as rich and full of life.